Here in the UK, Imrus extracts, processes and markets kaolin, ball clay and calcium carbonate. Imrus's geologists and mining engineers need to have a good understanding of the nature and extent of the kaolin reserves so that they can design their mine plans. This is very important to enable Imrus to not only meet its customers' expectations but also to be able to meet our stakeholders' expectations, and in particular, our neighbours and the local community. The strategic vision of Imeris is to put all the resource and reserve of Caroline that we have in Cornwall to be able to feed all the markets and to optimise at the maximum the usage of those clay minerals in Cornwall. This is particularly important so that we can make best use of this valuable resource and produce an economic and sustainable life of mine. First, so it was about 5,000 drill holes coming from all the historical database that we have in the area. Then we decided to complete the database to have a full new set of data. So we decided to put together a new drilling campaign. About 12,000 meters were drilled. So we have more than 2 million analyses coming from the 4,000 samples. So the challenge was the geological team was built with people coming from a lot of uh, different backgrounds and different experiences. Imrish uses Gemcom uh, Serpac uh, software as, as its fundamental software for mine planning. But also we've used Whittle before in various areas as well for estimations. But this was the first project we'd used to link everything together. We wanted a solution that in Serpac represents the geological and the, the reserve and resource estimation, but also with Whittle uh, to allow us to do um, economic optimizations and also at the end with Mineshed that allows us to schedule in terms of blending and in terms of MPV management as well. It was completely obvious for us that we need the help and the assistance of Gemcom services. The first stage was to get the services staff acquainted with the unique challenges which this project presented. What we designed was in phase one we'd come onto site and we'd do a review of people's skills and then in our Colville office we worked on a series of uh, tests for the mineshed scenario. Because this isn't a greenfield site we needed to mimic the current production and it was only through knowing the site and knowing what the unique challenges were here that we were able to make that realistic. And by the end of that week, you know, we'd proved the concept of using Mineshed to model clay production. Two of the service team spent one week with Imrus's geological team, understanding the deposit so that we could best utilize their skills and our skills to form a team which would reasonably rapidly develop through SERPAC data collection the exploration drilling program which Imris had implemented all through the processes, all the way through to Whittle shells and eventually to mine shed which will be implemented in order to control the optimal extraction of this vast primary kaolin deposit. Once they'd done that in a real partnership with us in a way showed us the maximum we could get from each of the solutions that we were already using and also how to join all those solutions together. We brought experts in Mineshed and experts in Whittle in who developed specific solutions and really pushed the boundaries of what the, the software can do in order to answer the unique questions that uh, Imris were asking. Working with Gemcom Services team is a very good value because it helped us to to, to, work as, to work as a team uh, with the same workflow, to, to, be, to be more efficient in, in the way we are doing the resource and reserve estimation and to save time in, a, in the whole the process. Those guys know what they are doing. And also, the big thing is that Gemcom Services allows us to keep control and to have control of every steps. We are working hand in hand like a team and at the end we have not only a report like you will have with a consultant company, but we have a full collaboration. Is we weren't here to give them the answer. 
We were here to give Emirates the path to get that answer themselves and to be able to answer those questions again in the future if any of the inputs change. It isn't a definitive, this is the mine plan for the KL Night platform. It's a step-by-step -step guide of how to get to that answer with the skills that they've picked up. Elements of what we've learned here and the way we're now working, we can deploy in other sites in, inside Imris. Gemcon services has allowed us to really get the maximum out of the software we already own. Um, and in that way, it, it makes it quite unique. And we're already using the software in various different locations and in different ways. At the end of the project, we have a full control of the tool that we put together with Gemcom services. It's not only for that project, but it's also for the coming years in Cornwall, but also for the coming years and for other projects inside Emeris.